So this is Lucina. Now she has different modes. So obviously birthing mode. She has. She can be a standard patient. So we can use her for all academic programs plus post. Uh, birth uh, scenarios. She also has a soft belly that can be used for palpitation and we have this little baby here that we can put in all different orientations and students can uh, try and feel where the head is and where the bottom is. We also um, have a uterus that we can make boggy or um, so, and you have to do proper massage in order to be able to uh, rectify uh, a uterus scenario. So she is quite versatile. Um, but today we're just going to do a, um, a standard birth, so no complications, but we can replicate things like the shoulder getting stuck uh, and things like that. So we, she's a very useful training tool because out in practice um, you will <coughs> see lots of different things but we can't guarantee you're all going to see the same thing. So this enables us to give all the students a baseline so that hopefully <laughs> they, um, of like the common kind of scenarios, so hopefully um, if it, when it does happen at some point in their career, if it hasn't happened in their training, then they have a better idea on how to deal with it. That's our intention. <laughs> but also it helps us be able to um, look at things like how you communicate with your colleagues and with the midwifery scenarios. We have um, a student midwife and then we'll play someone who plays a senior midwife and then someone sometimes plays a doctor or we can have a, a, a partner or a family member and sometimes they can be really great and sometimes they can cause havoc and it's how you manage that <laughs> and obviously this is all depending on what year you're in so obviously year one we're not expecting you to be able to do everything and manage all of that it's just getting used to this how simulation works taking vital signs I'll show you the monitor in a second um, and then year two and three is when we start adding complications or standard birth and it's more about managing uh, the scenario and managing uh, the mother and the baby. Obviously in a scenario the students are encouraged obviously to talk to the mother and the mother will talk back. Um, voice of the patient comes through her ears so we have someone who plays the voice of the patient. She has heart and lung sounds so we can put crackles and wheezes. Um, you can run fluids through her, you can do defibs, ECD, CPR, um, you can put oxygen on her. Mm -hmm. So we have a head wall unit here that um, is not actually hooked up to live oxygen, um, but you can uh, simulate doing that as well as gas in there. And then from our monitor, we have this, so this is the kind of maternal vital signs that you'll see. So you've got heart rate. Um, SATs, blood pressure, respirate and body temperature. So these are things that, that students will use to gauge how well things are going, how well the mother's doing. And then we also have CTD. So this is as if the mother's hooked up to a CTD. So this is measuring contractions, so you can see up and down um, and this is um, measuring the fetal heart rate and at the moment the fetus is asleep and I'm going to make him for her awake just so that you can see a bit more of an activity thing going on there and it's not so little uh, and then you've got your fetal heart rate your contraction strength um, and then this is kind of the uh, maternal heart rate stats and temperature that's on the other screen so it's like a, a summary of that so it's the way that the, the baby comes down through the pelvis, it has to turn that last bit so that the shoulders can come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it hasn't restituted, then we would wonder whether it yeah. will start with the shoulders. Yeah. Or if it was born, but its chin wasn't quite coming up, or if its chin was turtlenecking like this and going back in, that would yeah. make you think that there's a bony obstruction here, yeah. so its shoulders aren't coming out. So that's when you would start to think about doing manoeuvres for yeah. Shoulder dysplasia, but that baby's restituted, which means that baby's like this. So this shoulder is going to be the shoulder that the we'll anterior shoulder will come first, yeah. and then its posterior shoulder will come afterwards. Okay. So, so I'm going to apply axial yeah, traction. So that means I'm not pulling up or down because we don't want to break, cause a break or plexus injury. So we would never pull upwards or yank the baby down. So just gentle axial pressure to just release the front shoulder. And depending on which midwife you worked with, they all do this slightly differently. So you learn quite a few different ways of delivering the baby, yeah. 
deliver it herself so we're going to assume because it's going to come super quick that yeah. we have given her some drugs, some and drugs. we're going to leave the cord attached to the baby and we're going to leave it pulsating so we're going to wait until that cord's completely white so that the baby gets all of the blood that's intended for it yeah. we know the benefits of that for so unless there was an emergency that dictated otherwise we would leave the cord so so we would guard we go, i'm going to assume it's about here Okay, so Regarding, Jack is guarding, guarding her uterus. This obviously would be hanging down there. Sometimes there's um, like some clamp scissors on there, yeah. and you would. And what do you mean guarding the uterus? Sorry. So if if we were to pull the placenta and without like guarding the uterus, right. you yeah. could pull the whole thing out and inflate it. <laughs> yeah, she turn it inside out. So. so we always just put our hands over the top. You can just about feel it. Yeah. You just put your hands over the top. Say that there's some scissors on here, and just down. Oh, she has got a long. She's got a long cord in there. <laughs> this is really weird doing it when it's still. Normally we put a clamp on it so you've yeah. got something to Should use as a sort down. of <laughs> traction. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to be big enough. <laughs> You'd have like a kidney dish here oh, usually. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, coming. There we are, love. We're just going to see it. Well done. Well done. Yay. 